This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're at. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my comments uh, section, various comments on my RVTA uh, webs, uh, YouTube site. Not my website, but RVTA site. And uh, again, I'm going to be making comments about the comments. And you can comment about my comments about the comments if you want. Okay, feel free to make comments about my comments about the comments. Let's get started right now. This should be interesting, huh? So you get a little bit of insight into some of the comments that I have on my page and how I respond. I try to respond professionally. I try to be straightforward and I use my experience and my wisdom that I've garnered over the last 70 years. You know, try to be honest, okay? So here's uh, somebody uh, just ordered a new 2022 373 RBS and the overall length is 43 feet. That's Brian H. I noted to him that the uh, MSRP sheet, the sheet that uh, you know, I put on the screen, the actual MSRP sheet for the exact unit I was talking about, listed it at about 37 feet. So it goes to show you that you can't believe everything that's in print. Is that a shocker? So the MSRP sheet said it was smaller than it actually was, apparently, according to some of the people that have been commenting. I think I have three comments already on this uh, specific travel trailer. Uh, the uh, what is it called the uh, open range 373 RBS again can you trust what's on print in print than the MSRP sheet I guess not it was actually bigger so thank you Brian H I appreciate it dead frog racing I'll be going to Wana with one end RV in July to pick up my new Rockwood very nice I'm gonna be going to Wana in my lab that's the video he's commenting about RV news and views I talk about different things and one of them was that I'm gonna be going to Juan RV to pick up my my new travel trailer eventually in August maybe late July maybe uh, September who knows so we're both on the same page and we're both gonna be staying at the campgrounds to test out all the equipment and make sure everything's working make sure it doesn't ex explode immediately okay here's very Valerie and I really do not like the wood cabinet doors you have a calming voice. I have a calming voice. So this is talking about the casitas, casita travel trailers, these uh, fiberglass molded travel trailers made of Rice, Texas, about an hour and a half down from where I'm at. You know, I go towards Fort uh, Dallas and make a sharp right, go south a bit, and there's Rice, Texas, and they make them down there. You can order one from there, or you can, uh, you know, check out one in your vicinity. If you contact the folks at uh, Casita, they'll give you a name of somebody hopefully within uh, hollering distance and you can uh, check out their uh, unit. Basically, again, it's a fiberglass molded shell with, uh, with a little bit of carpet inside as insulation and they call it good. So she didn't like the, uh, the cabinets. I don't know if she didn't like the beige or the gray because they recently came out with gray and uh, you can paint it any way you want. Just paint it, just paint it. Just put some uh, whatever you want. Just you know, put some stickers on there. Whatever, you, whatever is good for you. Very Valerie, just do it, Valerie. Andrea Hood, we're about to get a Lance 1685, and they were very upset. They were upset because uh, they didn't have the decor choices that they wanted. Mm. So I did a review of the uh, Lance uh, 1685 at Western Campers here in Fort Worth, Texas. Nice people down there. It's a small lot. They only have like about you know, maybe 30 RVs in the whole lot. It's uh, right off Camp Bowie in Fort Worth. But they're nice people. Very nice. The lady down there, the woman down there that owns the joint, she's very, very nice. In fact, she sold one to my neighbor down here uh, a few doors down. They have a Lance. And my other neighbor here has uh, bought something from Motorhome Specialist just down the street. So... That's pretty good, huh? So she does not like the interior options offered. So all you folks in uh, over there in Lancaster, uh, California, you know, in the middle of the desert, they're in the middle of the desert. You're in LA, you just go east about uh, 50 miles and you go up in the mountains a little bit and the, and the driest part of getting close to the Mojave, there's Lancaster. Absolutely not very pretty, okay? If you're from Lancaster, don't get upset at me. Get upset at you're living there okay don't get upset at me so uh, let's go down here uh, lisa wiktorek six days ago she said this it's summer and uh she says the prices are high for a lot of these rvs and i noted to her that they're eventually going to go down a brilliant observation they're eventually going to go down uh, you know i gotta 
pretty good noodle there. But maybe then we'll probably go <laughs> for all I know. Who knows? I can't predict anything. Can you predict everything? I can't predict everything. Cheryl Santos Hatchet, PhD. My wife's a PhD. They're both uh, PhDs. She wanted to. She commented on my dancing at the uh, Czech, the 2021 uh, National Polka Festival. I went to Enos, Texas last week, and I had a great time dancing. My wife and I. A lot of our relationship is based on shared values, and we both like to dance. On the first date, I'm, I I saw her. I saw her coffee shop. We went, and I started dancing with her in front of her house in San Francisco, and she loved that. She goes. I like that about you, Garza. You're not afraid to dance. And I said, hey, what are, you know, I enjoy dancing. I have a lot of uh, ganas. I have a lot of interest in movement. I enjoy dancing with you. And it gives me an opportunity to get close to a woman. What's not to like, okay? So, Cheryl Santos Hatchet. And I noted some comments there. Elizabeth Torres. We are from South Texas, and they love Red River. New Mexico. I love Red River. Here's a story that I did on Red River, New Mexico. I did a little review, a very nice review. I think it's one of my better reviews. You know, I get thousands of hits on certain ones, like on uh, Casita, I get tens of thousands of hits. Other ones, just like this one, I won't get ten th tens of thousands of hits. So, Red River, you just, uh, from Fort Worth, you just keep on going north and uh, west until you get to Amarillo, then you keep on going north and west until you cross into New Mexico. And there is Red River, New Mexico, in the mountains, just about, just a little bit south of, uh, you know, the Colorado border. In the mountains, it's cool. In the month of May, it's very cool. In fact, it's freezing sometimes. I went down there in May, and it was absolutely freezing. I put out some water that I was washing my uh, clothes with, and it was frozen when I woke up that morning. So if you want, uh, in July and August, a lot of folks here in Texas, here in Texas, they, you know, it's Super hot. This is some news for you folks out there in the in uh, all your cool climbs. It gets super hot, muy caliente, very very hot, sizzling hot. Uh, yeah, it gets hot in Texas in July and August, and people leave and go to Colorado, go to New Mexico, and they cool off in the mountains. They go, hey, this is nice. It's a nice town, plenty of campgrounds. They have about four or five. You know, public, you know, uh, state campgrounds and have several private campgrounds within a five mile radius. Very nice. All very nice. And they all right next to the river and stuff like that. And of course, Red River has a A plus downtown. Not an A plus. I give it a good, let's give it a A, okay? It has a lot of good restaurants, a lot of good uh, places to have a beverage. And you can get some ice cream down there and they have some, you know, uh, once in a while they have events. I went down there when they had a beer festival and they have a, you know, people with motorcycles hang out there so very nice red river new mexico if it's if you're in texas or somewhere hot and you want to cool off go to red river new mexico don't forget to uh, check it out it's very nice i really like northern new mexico i go to southern new mexico during the winter northern new mexico during the summer okay that works out for me Okay, did you hear about the YouTube channel accounting for the differences in options? I'm signing up for 3,000 more in Arkansas. Basically, I did this article where I showed my uh, MSRP sheet. You know, the MSRP sheet is compared to my, you know, my uh, dealer bill sheet for WANA RV. That's W-A-N-A -A RV. They sell somewhat close to wholesale in uh, Shipshawana, Indiana. And uh, they offered me about $4,000 less than the local dealerships here that were selling Flagstaff or Rockwood products. So I decided to go with them. Instead of paying 29, close to 30,000 bucks, I ended up paying $25,000 on the dot for a fully outfitted uh, Rockwood uh, Mini Light 2205S. Everything, everything, pretty much. You know, pretty much all the stuff I wanted. You know, roller blinds, an extra, you know, Max Air fan with vent cover, you know, DC fridge with the, you know, uh, the, you know, solar panels. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. Okay, so it worked out pretty good. So she, you know, if you go, again, I, I, I contacted my local dealerships first. They said, uh, Jesus, even though you've been doing a lot of videos on our products and we know you very well and we have a, you know, we, we see you about every week, uh, we're still going to charge you more than the folks in Juana. How about that? I said, again, like I always say, the RV dealership salesmen are not your friends. They are not your friends. They're salesmen. They're saleswomen. They want to make a buck. So you have options. You can go somewhere else, okay? 
So let's do two more just to get this over with, okay? Someone asked, oh no, that's me talking. I'm not gonna repeat myself. <laughs> While I don't have anything bad to say about the furry on observation camera, I would have to be, I have purchased the hell of you had it been offered by the dealer when we uh, purchased the, our travel trailer. Yeah. So uh, I've been in contact with hell of you and they contacted me back and said, we're going to give you one free. And I said, okay, I'll take it. I like free. Do you like free? I like free. But uh, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it in my hands. Okay. If not, I'm gonna, just going to have to buy it. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping during the uh, Amazon Prime Day. Uh, and if you have any questions, check out my, uh, you know, my page, my Amazon store, and you can start your search there. It's a good opportunity for you to save some money and look at some of the deals that are available. Again, there's the price that they usually sell. They, let's say they sell for 500 bucks, and they're selling it during Prime Day for 500 bucks. That's not a deal, okay? Okay, they're selling the same thing for 500 bucks, another product, but they're selling it for $300 during Prime Day. That's a deal. So you take that deal, you look at the percentage of discount. You don't, you know, say, hey, that's a good deal. I got 30% off. I like that. I'm going to buy it during Prime Day. I'm doing all my shopping. I need about $2,000 worth of RV products. I'm going to be doing all my shopping on Amazon Prime Day for all those little products. And hopefully you have most of them, okay? I'm going to get like uh, the hoses and the, and the various uh, pads and odds and ends and... Uh, this goes on and on and on. All that stuff. I thought RVing was inexpensive, okay? Let me just do one more, and this is going to be the last one. Okay, this is Rob EJC. He's always on my channel. Hey, Rob. Saludos from Fort Worth, Texas. That's Rob EJC. He's ready to be towed to a funeral with all the dark and sober cabinetry. He's talking about the Palomino River Ranch. <laughs> Still waiting for a manufacturer to get with the modern time to get some sleek modern finishes. It just takes one to make the move and then they'll all just come along. European manufacturers are making some truly amazing great rigs with uh, brilliant interiors that put these US or these uh, dour US manufacturers to shame. Again, I'm paraphrasing. Yes, we should have more diversity, but you know, you got to understand that there's only about 10 real manufacturers in the United States and they own, you know, Forest River owns uh, Coachman, they also own uh, Flagstaff, and they also own Rockwood, and they also own Keystone owns all these other ones, and then Thor owns a bunch of other ones. And they build certain stuff. They say, okay, you can, sh when I see certain manufacturers say, I, we just come out with a new product. I go, uh, you're under the umbrella of this other company. You just rebadged something from the other guys. <laughs> say, they, they said, okay, for sure, we, you know, you can have that. We'll rebadge it for you. We'll put some new stickers on and call it yours, okay? How about that? It's a brilliant new product. Nah, it's not. It's somebody, somebody's rebadge. So RV manufacturers aren't brilliant. They aren't, uh, you know, uh, coming up with great ideas. Uh, you know, they're, they're just trying their best to make a buck and trying to make it cheaper. They buy a lot of Chinese products to make it cheaper. They buy, you know, Chinese tires, Chinese widgets, Chinese dials, Chinese uh, rims, Chinese furniture, you know, that, uh, what's that, Thomas Paine furniture? That's made in China. <laughs> you didn't know that, huh? So from Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza talking ad nauseum. I'm sorry if I bored you. I'm trying to not bore you. I'm trying to be as friendly and as open as possible. Did I do a good job? From Fort Worth, Texas, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments below. Gracias. Muchas gracias. You didn't know I was bilingual, huh? And also, uh, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash jmmgarza. And also, if you're interested in looking at some of my photos during my travels and while I'm RVing, go to my rvta.com myportfolio.com page. Thank you very, very much. I greatly appreciate it. From Fort Worth, Texas, I appreciate you uh, checking out my comments and don't forget to comment about my comments about the comments, okay? Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.